Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. But well, let's talk about this Texas business, bro. Um, like I say, me personally, in my opinion, I think you're one of the best managers in Texas. Man, I appreciate it. But there's another there's another manager in Texas that I pay attention to. His name Rainwater. And he do a lot of talking. He uh, <laughs> he do a lot of talking. Talk, and, and like I've never met him personally, but we've been in DMs before and stuff like that. And I know people who know him, so I can get in touch, contact with him if I really need to. Yeah. But. He talk about artists. He talk about Texas music. He recently talked about I mean, Mo Three dropping. Shout out to um, R.I.P. Mo Three, but he um, he dropping on the thirty first. Right. He talked about Bumpy Johnson, about his streams and stuff like that. And he was saying like, man, you know, man, man, so 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 let's let's get into this real quick. Hey, Rain, I heard what you said. Um, this man had the audacity to say that Bumpy Johnson is better than Pat, and Pat was a one hit wonder. Well, when has Bumpy Johnson had a hit? I wonder. Has, has, has he ever had a, had a hit record? Because Pat is gold right now organically and headed to platinum. He said that? Yeah, he said that. Well, I mean, I know he said it. He was pillar talking when he said it. Oh, okay. I... But he said it. Yeah, we know people. So, so Rain, watch your mouth, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you do, a, you do a lot of talking in front of the camera, but you also do a lot of talking Behind the camera too, though. Dang. I, 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 and like I say, I, I like Rainwater. I like how he be saying. I think he got a lot of knowledge, but I didn't know that. I, I, I think Rainwater, uh, is a master marketer. He just be marketing stuff. You know what I'm saying? He say stuff. He can't believe a lot of stuff that he say. Cause other than Mo Three, what other artists that he had that's popped and did anything? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I. Ain't. I don't know. I mean, he's still putting out more three albums, and shout out to three because I I was a fan of three. You know what I'm saying? You know, but but bro, you you still putting out more three albums. You still you had number seven. You had Dun Dun. You had um, what what was the other chick? Uh, the the Pink some Pink Pressure. I Pink Pressure. Yeah, you had, had uh, yeah, yeah, you had all these other people. They ain't popping none of them. You know, I ain't gonna lie though, that, that little dude, number seven was going hard. I don't know what happened. No, seven seven was was before he met Rain, seven had a little buzz, bro. We sure did. You know what I'm saying? I met it's crazy. I met Mo Three. I, I met Mo Three and Number Seven in Houston. Mo Three was shooting a video with this guy named Young Chris, the year the real from New Orleans. Yeah. And my guys, the Dark Brothers, they from Homer. They do, they do film, and I here in Houston, so he like, yeah. I was coming out here like, look, Mo three and them over here right now. I met Mo three, and I met number seven, and uh, I I didn't know he was that that nigga stocky, yeah, like yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like you know he was grilled up and stuff, and Mo three like, hey, what's up, you know? And I was like, dang, he's cool, and and that's when I kind of got on number seven campaign. I already knew, but I've been I've been knowing about number seven since he had the stretch game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it was a bunch of youngsters called Stretch Gang. So I've I've been, you know, knowing about number seven. He ain't had nothing to do with Rain then. Yeah. Rain had some talent though. He still he he know how to get the talent, but uh, from what I see, I ain't in Texas. I just from what I see on the internet. So well, I ain't seen no talent he had other than uh than three. I mean Bumpy cool, but it, it's a difference in having star quality. Three had star quality. You know what I'm saying? Like Mike Major. Star quality. Shout Cocaine King. Jeffrey Wayne. Star quality. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Amir Genius. He a star. Slugger. Man, free the slug. He in, he in the feds right now. Slugger. Star quality. Pat. You know what I'm saying? So these are artists that can do stuff outside of music. Mm -hmm. I just want to see Rain pop another artist. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Just pop another artist. And while he was talking about a one year wonder, bro, we dropped... Um, Rodeo, actually it was Pony first. Pony, it turned into Rodeo, but it was Pony first. That's groundwork that we did that got millions and millions of views before the labels even came. So then after that, we ended up dropping Kamikaze. Kamikaze did cool, but then they forget about the Christmas record that Pat dropped that went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Then we did Overstepping with Mexican OT. Like, come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Now, let me writing this up too, and I'm, I'm, and I'm transitioning because 2K said something about BG, 
But you say, bro, I ain't saying, you know, Pat got a got a record. Man, Pat got a record with BG. And I ain't gonna you know what I'm saying? And and BG is a is a uh, is a down south legend. So you can't, bro. It's so many things are subjective. Yes. Like it's a, is a, is opinion based. So I know people that think Gucci Man is the best rapper in the world. You know, so everything is opinion based. You you can have your own opinion. Now being trash, you can't just say somebody trash because you don't like them because they might be the goat to somebody else. That's all. But like I say, man, people just be saying stuff for, for clickbait and cloud and all that. Because I ain't really like Silk the Shocker. But his charge to the game project <laughs> yeah, yeah. was well put together. Yeah. yeah. Silk the Shocker, I went to, the, I went to a No Limit concert recently. He still got it. Like his voice, like the, the style. Hey, bro, still look young. He, he look young. Like, I'm like, dang, he's like about 30 something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you got to respect what he did. When Sit the Shotgun came out, rapping off beat and stuff like that, he the first guy I heard doing that. He kind of talked like that, though. Yeah. That's yeah, how he in, his dream, in his Dream Champ interview, he was talking like that. Yeah, yeah. he talked like but that. But other, other rappers do it. Yeah. They don't do it as, as much as him, but they do it. Like, I'm going to just say G Herbo. He might rap off beat. Yeah, he rap off beat, yeah. Like, dang. Like, but Silk been doing that, so, hey, I, I get what you're saying, bro. I get what you're saying. It be, it be different. It's, it's different waves. Like, everything. That, that's why I say there's nothing new under the sun. Nothing. Because it's always going to come back. And somebody always going to mimic somebody else. Somebody sound like somebody else. So you'll see resemblance from this person to that person. It's going to be like that. But you can't say that this man is is, is trash. Yeah. Oh, I ain't just be talking it. Because where he from, that's the norm. Yeah. People talk like BG where he from. People act like BG where he from. Yeah, yeah. Man, where, where is 2K from? He from he from Green, I think it's Greensville, Mississippi. Greensville, Mississippi. Yeah, that's where he from. I think that's where he say he from. He from Mississippi. That's just what it is. Man, Mississippi. they probably got somebody in Mississippi that rap just like the average Mississippi person, and they probably praise him and think he they Tupac or something. <laughs> they might. He you know might. what I'm saying? He might. He and might. we probably listen to him and be like, Nah, that ain't, that ain't it. it. That you ain't know? it. Man, that's crazy though. You might. I mean, hey, it's. The, the, the way that people think, the way that people put our stuff, you know, we all, we from different places. And I respect people, opinion. I don't agree with it, you know, but that's just how he, that's just how he felt. I ain't think it was going to hit the internet like it did, but hey, you had to come, you got some straightness when you talk to oh, him. Oh yeah, right man, when I, when I talked to him and got him <laughs> on live, you know, because he was coming at me with his opinions. Yeah. Then yeah. he want to tell me how much somebody album sold and all of that. Bro. Do you not know that back in the times of No Limit and all that, they was buying their own records back? You know what I'm saying? Like, like they'll say, okay, the label going to spend 100000 on buying these albums back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. So the numbers, bro, the people play with the numbers now. They do it now. You yeah. can buy views. Mm -hmm. You can buy followers. You can buy streams. You can buy... So you telling me that... Just because somebody got more streams than somebody else, this record was better, or uh, or it, it did better, but you don't know the behind the scenes stuff that these labels be doing. A lot of people play with the numbers, man. Mm.